I was really excited to go on the trip to begin with. And uh, when we got there, I think my uh, what uh, actually happened exceeded my expectations. Uh, we went there, we played some games. As far as basketball, I was really proud of our younger guys, the way they played, Javen, Daquan, and the Chris's. And uh, I was really proud how they went out there, they were very active. And the conditions of the gym were kind of uh, subpar, to say the least. But uh, we went out there, we played hard, and that was fun. And as far as the missions, um, I'd never gone on a missions trip done anything like that so we went to the schools and saw the kids and I've, I've always been told that when you go on a mission trip a lot of times the the impact you feel you may have on them a lot of times is nothing compared to how they made you feel how the, the, what they've done for you and it, it, it was it was life-changing um, going on the on the missions but uh, overall I think it was a great trip I'd love to do it again and I, I probably will go on some more mission trips I'm probably going to the school going to the school and seeing all the uh, kids and talking to them. And then uh, when they actually had me talk and uh, I was speaking and, and with the translator, I've never used the translator. And so I went on for about a full minute and then I looked over at the translator and was like, oh, sorry. Like I kind of <laughs> didn't give them a chance to really hear what I was saying, but uh, definitely talking to the children and just seeing the smiles on their faces and being able to play with them. And even with the language barrier, it was just, it, it, was, it was amazing. Off the court, uh, well, basketball, off of the court, it, it really does have a big impact on how you play on the court. If a team gets to, gets along in the locker room, you know, when we're all together, that'll have a big impact on the court. And so we get along off the court, and I think it's going to show a lot this year. So the way we play it on the court together, we don't have selfish guys on our team. I don't think we have any selfish guys. So, you know, we are moving the ball, and sometimes we might even make the extra pass, and there might be one pass that was too many. So um, playing with the new guys, I think we're going to gel well. And uh, – I mean, it showed a little bit while we were down there, so we're just pretty excited for the year. Well, because we went down there and we wanted to play. The opportunity to go down there and play before the season starts as a team, to come together and play, that's that's experience that, I mean, you, you, you can only hope for. So especially having all these young guys, we get to go out there and play games. And really, just when it comes down to it, we, we love basketball. So we wanted to go out there and play. And even though the gyms were – it's hotter inside the gym than it was outside the gym. We're going outside at halftime. The sun is beaming down. It's 90 degrees. But somehow it, it's it's cooler outside than it is inside. So we really just wanted to play one more game. We came on the trip. The opportunity was there to play the game. So we decided why not. Uh, we walked yeah. around. We walked around San Domingo a lot. Went to the, uh, the restaurants and tried to eat some of the local food. And then um, – Sometimes we'd be out there and little kids would see us and we're, we're we just stuck out. We're obviously American and they come up to us and everyone loved Javen because he was tall and he, I guess he looks the most like a basketball player from us. They didn't think I was a basketball player, I'm <laughs> short. But yeah, everyone loved Javen. So we would just kind of walk around and uh, try to figure out how to um, get around with Spanish. Obi knows the most Spanish on the team, so he kind of was our translator a little bit.